half hour with a new claim from Wade Robson, Michael Jackson's former protege and longtime defender, a claim that the pop star molested him for years. We're going to talk to Wade in a moment exclusively, but first, his story. For years, dancer and famed choreographer Wade Robson spoke of his one-time friend and mentor, Michael Jackson, with only admiration. Just had a wonderful relationship. I learned so much from him as an artist and as a kind human being. In fact, in 2005, when Jackson was acquitted of the only molestation charge he ever faced in court, Robson was a star defense witness. He was an adult, he was intelligent, he was articulate, and he was adamant that nothing untoward had ever happened when he was with Michael Jackson. But now Robson is making a belated claim against Jackson's estate because his lawyer said Jackson was a sexual predator. And Robson last year collapsed under the stress and sexual trauma of what happened to him for seven years as a child. In my opinion, this is all about greed and money. But child abuse experts say that Wade's belated accusation is not uncommon and that sexually abused children often take decades to acknowledge abuse. Tragically, this is a very, very common story. Study after study after study on childhood sexual abuse has shown that it takes adulthood for many victims to come forward and that it is very possible that even kids in their 20s do not understand that a crime was committed against them. Jackson's estate says Robson's claims are outrageous and have no credibility. Wade Robson, good morning. Good, morning. good to see you. you. You know that the things you're going to say here this morning and perhaps in a court of law are going to get a lot of attention, make a lot of headlines. So yeah. before I ask you specifics, what's your mindset right now? What's my mindset? Um, I feel strong. I feel like this is the right thing to do because this is my truth. Despite what some people may say after you say these things? Yes. Let me take you back to 2005, Wade, all right? The child molestation trial of Michael Jackson. You were the first witness called by the defense, and the attorney for Michael Jackson said he called you first because you were so convincing and powerful, asserting the innocence of Michael Jackson. Yeah. And here we are these years later, and you're going to say just the opposite. Right. What happened? First of all, one thing I want to clear up is that this is not a case of repressed memory. It's anyway, been reported in the yeah, press some. I never forgot one moment of what Michael did to me. But I was psychologically and emotionally completely unable and, and unwilling to understand that it was sexual abuse. So what are you alleging that he actually did? He sexually abused me from seven years old until 14. I, I know it's a, it's, a, uh, it's a difficult and personal question, but can you be more specific? Because you're accusing someone who is deceased of criminal activity. Yeah. So I need you to be a little more specific. Uh, did he perform sexual acts on you? Did he force you to perform sexual acts on him? What was the nature of the abuse? Yes, exactly what you said. He performed sexual acts on me and forced me to perform sexual acts on him. How old were you when it started? Seven. And how long did it last? Till about 14. Now, did when you testified in 2005 mm -hmm. and you took the stand and you raised your right hand and you yeah. swore under oath that nothing sexual ever happened between you and Michael Jackson, yeah. why did you lie? You know, I said what I understood and I said what I was able to say from seven years old from day one of the abuse michael told me that we loved each other and that this was love that this was a, an expression of our love and then you follow that up with you know but if you ever tell anyone what we're doing both of our lives and our careers will be over um, when i was 11 when the first uh trial was going on the criminal investigation in 93 mm -hmm. Um, he would call me every day and role play and, and, and tell me the same sort of things and also tell me then that if anyone ever thought that we did these things, any of these sexual things, that both of us would go to jail for the rest of our lives. When you testified in 2005, did, yeah. did Michael Jackson or anyone working for him offer you money to say the things you said? Did they tell you you must lie on the stand at that time? No. There was no money. There was no s you must lie. Michael, when when he would talk to me before these things were going on and he would call me every day as these things were happening it was complete manipulation and brainwashing it wasn't any sense of the truth on the phone he would role play with me and train me 
for these scenarios. You know, uh, you say it's not repressed memory. You yeah. say you always knew and had in your mind what happened between you and Michael Jackson. You also say that when you finally had a son of your own, that it was looking at that son that made you think if anyone ever did to your son what Michael Jackson did to and with you, you'd kill that person. Yeah, during, uh, I'm a father, and I became a father two and a half years ago to this beautiful baby boy. And um, during the first 18 months of his life, I collapsed into two nervous breakdowns, terrifying nervous breakdowns. At that point, I had no idea what was wrong with me, what was going on. During the second one, this thing happened where I started looking at him and imagining him being a victim of the sexual abuse that I was at the hands of Michael. And for the first time in my life, I began to realize that my completely numb and unexplored feelings in relationship to what Michael did to me might be a problem, and maybe I needed to speak to someone about it. Howard Weitzman, who's a lawyer for the Jackson estate, said this in a statement. Mr. Robson has adamantly denied under oath and in numerous interviews over the past 20 years that Michael Jackson ever did anything inappropriate to him. Now he wants us to believe that he committed perjury at least twice and has been lying to anyone and everyone about Mr. Jackson since the early 1990s so he can file a claim for money. Mr. Robson's transparent lawsuit comes nearly four years after Michael passed. His claim is outrageous and sad. Jermaine Jackson, Michael's brother, said Wade Robson is full of and then used an expletive. Mm -hmm. What's your response? I understand completely how hard it is to understand this. Um, that being said, the idea that I would make all of this up and put myself, my wife, my son, my entire family through this you know, extremely stressful and painful experience all for the sake of money is completely But that's what you're going to, to be accused of. You're going to be accused, Absolutely. you're going to say you, you defended Michael Jackson while he was alive because he was good for your career mm -hmm. and now that he's gone there's an opportunity here to sue his estate. He can't defend himself and get money. Right. Why didn't you go to the lawyers and do this quietly? And try to, to settle some, right. make some kind of a deal? Right, because I've lived in silence and denial for 22 years and I can't spend another moment in that. In order to truly heal, I have to speak my truth and I have to speak the whole truth. That's one thing that you'll never see from me. I'm never going to go away with this for the sake of money. I'm never going to be silenced for money. That's not going to happen. With, with all that you've been through, all your, the work you did with Michael Jackson and what you now allege was sexual abuse by Michael Jackson. When I say his name to you this morning, what do you think of? Heartbreak, pain, anger, and compassion. There's, um, you know, there's no excuse for what he did to me, and I believe many others, but, um, but he was a troubled man, and every effect has its cause. You know, the image that one presents to the world um, is not the whole explanation of who someone is. You know, Michael Jackson was, yes, an incredibly talented artist, and a, with an incredible gift, he was many things. And he was also a pedophile and a child sexual abuser. His fans have been contacting me on Twitter this morning in, in record numbers, Wade. Yeah. And a lot of them are saying you're a traitor. Mm -hmm. You understand their emotions this morning? I understand how confusing it is to understand, you know, how hard it is to understand. I get that. But um, all it takes is a little bit of education into child sexual abuse and realizing how unfortunately typical my scenario is the trauma and the psychological effects of child sexual abuse last for so long you know i had no understanding of this until up to just over a year ago and i'm just at the beginning of my healing process i'm sure i'll be dealing with this for the rest of my life but um i'm so thankful that this is happening now because now i can get my life back you know, and my son, my son is the one that saved my life. Wade Robson, Wade, thanks very much for your time this morning. Thanks I appreciate it. Me, and we're back right after this.